looks like you are 100% front and center this evening, sir. We are loaded down with our case agenda this evening. We have one case for the city of Alaska, so if you, without hesitation, present that, we'll look forward to hearing from you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is a request, a request by Life South Community Blood Centers for a conditional use permit for property located at 301 Woodrow Wilson Drive. This is at the southeast corner of Woodrow Wilson and Fleming Street. Property is currently zoned RP. Um, blood bank facilities fall under the same line item category as medical clinics, and they require a conditional use permit in RP. Um, aerial shows the existing building. It's about 1,900 square feet. Um, this used to be a financial institution, which has been vacant for a while. And the applicant is proposing essentially just to move in and do some interior remodeling, but no proposed changes to the exterior or to the site. Um, Site plan in more detail, you see the layout of the parking and the property lines, sort of an interesting shape building. Um, but like we talked about at your work session, this corridor along Woodrow Wilson is part of the Institutional Activity Center character area of the conference plan um, that's affiliated with South Georgia Medical Center. Um, despite the RP zoning, most of the development pattern here is actually OP in nature, office professional. Um, Office professional zoning allows this use by right rather than conditional use, and the applicant simply had a choice of either rezoning this property to OP, which would have been fine except for irregular pattern on the map, um, or seeking a conditional use permit um, under RP zoning. Same expense, same time frame, different application form, same process. So that's what they are doing in seeking the conditional use. Um, being that they are affiliated in terms of a client relationship with South Georgia Medical Center, this is a perfect location for them. And given the nature of the medical offices that are along Woodrow Wilson, it is a perfect location. So with that, staff is recommending approval of this with some conditions. Um, and they are in your packet, and the conditions are as follows. Number one, approval shall be granted for a blood bank facility or other form of medical clinic in RP zoning. Number two, Maintain the existing solid hedge of vegetation along the south property line to fully screen the view from adjacent property. Number three, conditional use approval shall expire after one year from the date of approval if no business license application for this use has been submitted by that date. And my understanding is applicants are, have already purchased the property and they are anxious to get started. Do I answer any questions you may have? Any questions for staff? I, I want just that, that uh, so the one year from the day is really on a player in these conditions. They're ready to go now. They are ready to go, and some things they have to wait on zoning approval for, some things they do not. Okay. Um, the other thing, Mr. Chairman, I think I passed this out before the meeting. I also emailed you a copy. Um, if you have questions about this, I would refer those to the applicant. Okay. Well, one more question. I know, Matt, uh, last week. There was some some talk about uh, an additional condition. What did you have you, did you ever do any homework on that? Well, that they it was a question about the donations versus um, purchase That's correct. Um, with plasma. I think the applicants can address that okay. far better than I can. Um, but if you have that as a concern, you can add that to the conditions. I would make it in the wording number one, but I really don't think it's necessary in this case. All right. Uh, any, any questions? Mr. Chairman, I do have one. As usual, I'm concerned about the parking. Is that not going to be an issue here? Parking is no issue because they have approximately twice the minimum code requirement okay. for this use. Um, they have, as you see on the aerial and the site plan, there's plenty of parking there. Um, with a 1,900 square foot building, there's not a whole lot of parking demand, at least by the code. Um, but I think it's more than enough parking than what you're anticipating. Okay, thank you. There's no other questions. I'll open up this evening to all who wish to speak in favor of this request and come forward <coughs> this time. All who wish to speak in favor. Good evening, Robert Kwan, 1007 North Patterson Street, Valdosta. I'm here on behalf of Life, Life South Community Blood Centers. Life South is a nonprofit. Um, they are the blood provider. They're under contract with South Dover Medical Center to be the blood provider for the hospital. As, as Mr. Martin said, this is a donor-only facility. This is similar to the Red Cross. This is primarily going to be administrative offices, but it will also be a donor center. Um, we anticipate very low traffic, three to four 
people a day less than the traffic through the neighboring doctor's offices, most likely. Um, I've got several representatives of Life South, Dan Galasso, J.D. Bowles, and Galen Unol, who are more than happy to answer any specific questions that we may have about their operation. We ask for approval of the condition of these. Any questions, Mr. Trump? Oh, I, I'm sorry, go ahead, sir. So, uh, in fact, the, the, the uh, chance of it being a, a plasma center, collection center for, for cash or for pay, uh, is, is that not a that consideration is, at all? That is not their business plan. It's strictly donations. Um, they're a nonprofit. And the only reason I was concerned was the amount of traffic that I, that, that I see here about us, the other collection center. I'm just concerned about that amount of traffic going mm -hmm. into that area. Work completely different. Okay. If that's what I'm going to touch. Any other questions for present? Just thank you very much. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request and come forward at this time? Anyone else? There being none, anyone here wishing to speak against this request come forward at this time? Anyone wishing to speak against? Good evening, ma'am. If you would state your name and address for the record. Hello, my name is Susan Henley, and I reside at 2201 William Street, which is right around the corner from where they're going to put this. And I am fine with them coming in. I think they will be certainly a, an asset to our community. The, uh, my only problem is I want to make sure that it is, it's a collection site, not a paid for site. Because the one that's downtown, it's nasty. It's but it, it, and we have enough walking traffic in that area anyway that it's better since the library has moved. But we have a tremendous amount of walking traffic that are going to these public places like the hospital and the library and places like that. And it just, it's something like that if they did pay to draw that nature of, of um, client. And we just want to make sure that that does We work really hard to try to preserve um, the city and you know, want to keep it. Ms. Henley, that was also the commissioners, one of their concerns last week was making sure there was not going to be a, a plasma collection center. And I think Mr. Plum and other <coughs> gentlemen here this evening have uh, pretty much yes, satisfied that. Nice so I do appreciate you coming forward with your concern, but I think these, these gentlemen have, have taken care yes, of that. Thank Thanks again for coming thank forward, man. Anyone you. else here wishing to speak against this request? There being none. Commissioners, any discussion on this request this evening? Before we ask uh, or vote on this, yeah, I do have one. Uh, I, and, and forgive me, I've been burned several times here. Uh, we've been assured, and I, I'm quite sure that it's not going to happen. But in the future, man, if they were to turn it into a plasma, would they have to come back before the board? Uh, no, not as not the way it's currently written. Um, like I said, staff does not have a concern about that, and most of that stems from the small nature. Um, the facility downtown is about 8,000 square feet. This one's 1,900. Yeah. Um, and I don't know the mechanics of how these operate, but I don't see how one like that could fit here. Okay. The one downtown employs about 60 people. Yeah. That like, in itself would preclude. Like I said, you've been burned before in a situation like this. So mm -hmm. I just wanted, to, just wanted to reiterate that fact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jamie Bowles, uh, Senior Vice President of Operations for Life South Community Blood Centers. Mr. Bowles, what's your address, please, sir? 5071 Cumberland Lane, Spring Hill, Florida. So let me clear up some differences between a plasma center and a community blood bank. So we are not a plasma center. We've been around for 45 years in our community blood center. We do not collect plasma in that way. We're not licensed to do that. We have no intent in the future to ever do that. Plasma is very unique. So when you pay a donor, the FDA guidelines in which we are regulated by. The FDA inspects us, comes in there. Plasma, when you pay for it, it cannot go to a human being. And I'm sure our esteemed colleagues from the very Cross here can confirm that. Those plasma centers are rapidly growing around the United States. The plasma is being collected, paid for. It then goes on to research for drugs and makeup and things like that. It cannot be transfused to a human being. The community blood centers like American Red Cross and ourselves, we collect whole blood, and we do collect plasma. But it's earmarked for a human being. It's going to go right across the street to South Florida Medical Center and to other hospitals and hospitals. Okay? You can't cross the line. We would not be able to turn it into a plasma center legally. Okay? It would be a completely different line of business there. And okay? we're not in that business. And no one's in there. Thank you for your question. 
Jeff, yes, thank you very much for coming forward. So we appreciate you coming, sir. Anything else, guys? Yes. If not, I will take a motion at this time. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we approve this conditional uh, use permit request for the blood bank and so in the very conditional protection as well. Okay, we have a motion for Mr. Wilder. We have a second. Second, yeah. Mr. Wilder, we have a second. All in favor of this motion, please say not raise your right hand. I'll mail it. That is unanimous. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, with the conditions as explained by staff. Three, con three conditions, Mr. Carmel. I'm sorry. Yes, so. As it as we was read. So, again, let, let's, let's have a read hand on that if we can. All those in favor of this with conditions attached. And it remains unanimous, Mr. Carmel. Okay. 